Hello everyone and welcome to this video on culture and communication. In the previous video we talked about the cultural approach to communication which sees communication as a carrier and a building block of our social and cultural world. But what exactly is culture? There are many definitions of culture, but one that is often cited is Edward B. Tyler's definition, which describes culture as that complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, law, morals, customs, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by a man as a member of society. This definition highlights the fact that culture is a complex and multifaceted concept that encompasses all aspects of human life. It is also important to note that culture is shared by a group of people and it helps to create a sense of identity and belonging. There are many different aspects to culture. The language that we speak is a reflection of our culture. For example, different cultures have different ways of expressing emotions such as love, anger, hate, or sadness. Nonverbal communication such as body language and facial expressions can also be influenced by culture. For example, in some cultures it is considered rude to make direct eye contact, while in other cultures it is a sign of respect. Our values, such as the importance of family or the importance of hard work, are also influenced by culture. These values can shape the way we communicate with others. The norms of a culture, such as the way we dress or the way we eat, can also influence communication. For example, in some cultures, it is considered rude to eat with your hands, while in other cultures, it is perfectly acceptable. The physical objects that we create and use, such as art, music, and technology, can also be a reflection of our culture. So culture plays a significant role in communication. We interpret messages based on our cultural background. For example, a gesture that means one thing in one culture may mean something completely different in another culture. The words and expressions that we use are influenced by our culture. For example, people from different cultures may use different words to express the same idea. The way we communicate with others is also influenced by our culture. For example, people from different cultures may have different expectations about how much eye contact is appropriate or how much personal space should be maintained. The way we resolve conflict is also influenced by our culture. For example, people from different cultures may have different ways of expressing anger or disagreement. It is important to be aware of cultural differences in communication in order to avoid misunderstandings and build better relationships with people from different cultures. The study of culture has been a major focus of anthropology and one of the key figures in this field is Franz Boas. Boas argued that there is no single universal culture but rather that there are many different cultures, each with its own unique beliefs, values and practices. He also introduced the principle of cultural relativism, which means that we should not judge other cultures by the standard of our own culture. Boas' ideas have had major influence on the study of culture and they have been influential in the field of communication studies. In 1960s, the Birmingham School of Contemporary Cultural Studies was founded and this center played a major role in developing the cultural approach to communication. The Birmingham Center was led by Stuart Hall, who was also a leading scholar in the field of reception theory. Hall argued that people are not passive recipients of media messages, but rather they actively negotiate the meaning of these messages. The cultural approach to communication has had a major impact on our understanding of the role of culture in communication. It has helped us to understand how culture shapes the way that we communicate and it has also helped us to understand how communication can be used to create and reinforce cultural identities.